follow this hashtag to learn more about the 100 501st Battle Packs for charity. Okay, this is a review of the 2020 AAT Summer Wave Clone Wars base set. This set comes with four figures if you count battle droids and the AAT. We're going to start by going over the figures. So to start off, you have two tank driver battle droids. These were mislabeled as Gashik Troopers or the battle like Gashik battle droids back in 2019. So it was nice to receive that new just uh just the correct name. When we move along we have the Ahsoka Tano Clone Wars Season 7 accurate figure and uh, this figure was exclusive but now that we have revealed that there will be the Ahsoka vs. Maul $20 dual set in 2021 Summer Wave this is no longer an exclusive figure and will go down even more in value but since people bought multiples of this set for the clone trooper there are already probably a decent amount of these on ebay so if you just want the ahsoka figure you can just probably buy one like for 10 maybe less i don't know i haven't checked but it's probably pretty cheap for an exclusive figure since people bulk bought this set just for the free 30 second trooper i'm pretty sure that's what it's called okay so um let's get up see if i can almost cast a shadow over this so that there's not as much glare can i fix that yeah, i need to i need to get a better setup but anyway now we're closer to look at this figure this is what you bought the set for most likely if you were a collector of the ahsoka and the free 30 second this is a 501st Trooper with a re, like a reskin on the helmet, basically. Actually, I have 501st Trooper right here. Yeah, so, as you can see, he won't stand up because I don't have studs for him. And now I know that. But as you can see, the torso print is the same as a 501st Trooper. And the, it's just mainly that head, or helmet print that's orange to represent Ahsoka basically so um, the backs of the figures is pretty basic as I said before basic clone back for modern clone troopers there and Ahsoka I like this headpiece turned out good oh yes Ahsoka's is a uh, two-sided head so you can turn it around it's a pretty basic back print I think probably the best or the most expensive thing was obviously manufactured was the headpiece. And then the battle droids, it's just green on the back since it's green on the front. There's not going to be any special printing on those. The only thing's really that those head pieces. So now we're going to move on into the build. And uh, there is a lot of controversy over this set, actually. Starting, basically, some people loved it for the figures. And considered the build okay. Some people really just didn't care. When the Star Wars fans who haven't watched the Clone Wars but just think this as a like a a blue and gray version of the thing they saw in uh, the Phantom Menace. And there's the people who think the build is terrible and the figures are only the redeeming factor. I'm all and the build. If we're not going for accuracy, is great. For play, it's great. It, the cannon completely swivels, lifts up and down. It's not going to break off unless you're too rough with it. These, I guess, can move, but they're not really advertised as a play feature. Also, that needs to be snapped in. There. Okay. And then you have flick fire missiles here. You, and you just, how do you fire that? It's this little gray piece here. You just... And yeah, that won't do anything bad. You just do that, and it launches it. And then you either lose it, or you go get it again. So, and that's mainly the uh, actual play features. And then the back is pretty just skeletal work that was done on the set. And showed they didn't try anything to make it covered up with gray and blue. 
So then you have this hatch here. This is for you. one of your battle droids. And I use this section to store both of the battle droids blasters. Which I'd like to point out. I think it's interesting. That Free 32nd Trooper gets a black blaster. But the battle droids get silver blasters. Why is that? think they wouldn't bother and they'd just chuck free of whatever color they were doing and usually it's standard black so basically that just has a control panel there control panel there nothing fancy left in there so then we move up to the headpiece which i think this is definitely a better headpiece the only other aat i own is the 2015 one based off the phantom menace and i think that one is very undersized, but it's still a decent build. and It works good for stop motion when stuff's smaller anyway. So this is a, since the battle droids are only two studs wide, wide rather than like three studs if you count the arms. It's weird on a figure, like the arms take up some of the space, but it's just a little space for your battle droid. And then you have antennas to the side. And yeah, there's very little. There's like two stickers in this. There's this. This, so compared to the 501st Battle Pack, which is $10 cheaper than this, it's not really called the 501st Battle Pack, but I'm going to call it that. This has far less stickers, which is nice and sometimes, but that also means probably there's going to be missing detail. Now we're going to move into why should or shouldn't you buy this set, and is for a alternative that is just as good. So, flaws. This right here should extend one stud farther back. This whole, this right here, there should be an extra stud between this and this to add a blue strip along the back for accuracy, since it is a entire blue border rather than a gray border on there. It's just kind of missing stuff in here. The cannon is just outrageously oversized. This was never in the show. This is supposed should be a full. Actually, if you remove this and move the cannon back, it might be better. It's probably still going to be oversized, though. Almost chopping it off right here to go to there would be accurate, really. It just doesn't look good but that if you remove this and make that a barrel it looks reasonable and that is how it should be about size wise and then the head i think is probably the more accurate of all the things it looks pretty good it has the antenna i don't have a picture right now i could probably point out more stuff but this is a lego set you can't capture every single detail that you possibly can find So, yes, that is the cons to this set. But the pros is basically the figures. That's what I'm using for that. The bad stuff's in the build. Great stuff's just getting all these figures. So the battle droids don't really going to cover them much. I guess for sort of exclusive, they've only been in one of our set. But that doesn't really count. I guess, because they're battle droids. I mean, if you collect battle droids, you can find them in almost... There's a battle droid almost every year, really. So, um... Yes, we have the Ahsoka figure, which is definitely something people will want for their updated, even if they have their Fulcrum Ahsoka, which is probably has decreased in value, but is still a very valuable figure that is exclusive. And then there is the younger ones based off the Clone Wars Season 5. And the really one that doesn't look too good back from 2008 when the show was introduced and they first made the figure. Then we have the free 32nd Trooper, which is definitely something people want. And that's reasons to buy the set. It, I think it evenly balances itself out. And I definitely plan on actually modding this set next, not to make it more accurate, but entire, completely stripping it down to just a pile of parts 
and trying to build, I don't know the exact name, but if you can remember the Separatist shuttle, it has a big wing on top, and then it's a tube, and then it has little legs that pop out when it lands, and it just kind of sits there. It was um, also a you know, second Phantom in Star Wars Rebels, that ship, if you know that. But that is the uh, 20, um, 20, 2020 AAT Conway Clone Wars base set. <laughs>